Hello Year 9, this is Mr McGettigan and I'm going to be delivering today's English lesson. Okay, so in our last lesson we were introduced to the uh, issue of um, the death penalty and it's this issue that we're going to be exploring over the next series of lessons and you guys are going to be looking at different cases and you're going to be looking at different um, aspects of the issue um, of the death penalty and you're going to be looking at arguments for and against the death penalty and you're going to be making your own arguments okay but for now what I would like you to do is I would like you to look at these uh, words down on the right uh, or sorry the left of the screen justice moral rehabilitation deter and abolish and I would like you to match the definitions to the word please okay so we have definitions on the right hand side and the words on the left match the definition to the word i'd like you to write these words out and and write their definitions next to them please pause this video and do that now okay so the definition of the word justice is the act of being fair and just, okay? The definition of moral is what is right or wrong in human behaviour. Definition of rehabilitation is to return someone to a good, healthy or normal life. That is the definition there. The definition of deter is to discourage someone from doing something and the definition of abolish obviously is to end an activity or practice officially now it's important that we know the meanings of these words because these are the kinds of words and this this vocabulary in particular i would like you to have in your vocabulary in your vernacular and i would like you to be able to not just know what they mean but i would like you to be using them Words like justice, moral, rehabilitation, deter and abolish are key to the idea of discussing uh, the legal system and in this case uh, the death penalty and it, these words are key for you to be able to talk about that particular issue with any degree of um, articulacy, without being able to speak clearly, okay? Let's move on. So today we're going to define what we mean by the word, by the, by the phrase, sorry, human rights. You're going to explore some of the reasons why human rights aren't always obeyed. We're going to explore whether the death penalty breaks human rights. And we're going to be looking at a particular case surrounding the, um, the uh, uh, an American man called Troy Davis. And I'll give you more information as we go through the lesson. Okay, so I, the, your first task is to uh, think about this question. What do you think our universal human rights should be? Okay, the right to, the right to that. The right, so it could be we should have the right to free Wi-Fi. We should have the right to food. We should have the right. So these things, um, the universal human rights are what every human should have access to in the world. Okay. I would like you to pause the video now. I would like you to make a list of your top five in your books. Okay. Okay, so you should now have a list of five universal human rights that you personally think every human should have. Every human should have. Okay, so all humans are born equal. Do we agree with this statement? All humans are born equal. Do you agree with that statement? Do you think that that is true? Do you think that that is completely false? Or do you think that there is, it falls somewhere between being completely true and false? Now, I'm not asking you to write anything down here. 
what I am asking you to do is think, is think about your response to that, that phrase, all human beings are born equal. I personally think that we are. However, as we grow up, inequalities in society mean that people aren't equal. So the um, circumstances that you're born into, whether your family have jobs or not, whether your family are educated or not, whether you have access to um, healthy food, uh, things that are good for you, like exercise, all of that kind of stuff, means that our lives from the point that we're grown means that we're not equal, okay? Um, but that's just my opinion. I want you to think about what your opinion is. Okay, so there's a video on Show My Homework right now um, with this link, and the link is on Show My Homework. It's also on the PowerPoint for this video called Human Rights, The Basics. I would like you to pause this video now, and I want you to go on to uh, the, vi the video that, uh, that is Human Rights, The Basics. I'd like you to watch that now, because that gives us a very brief outline of what basic human rights are. Pause this video for now, and watch that one. It, the link to it is on Show My Homework. Okay, so you now should have watched that. So, we know that the official European Convention of Human Rights states that all human beings should have the right to life, the right to freedom from torture, freedom from safe slavery, the right to liberty, the right to have a fair trial, the right not to be punished for something that wasn't against the law at the time. The right to respect for family and private life. The right for, to freedom of thought, conscience and religion. The freedom of expression. The right to freedom of assembly, so to be able to get together in groups. The right to marry and start a family. The right not to be discriminated against in respect of these rights. The right to protection of property. The right to education. The right to participate in free elections. And the ab abolition of the death penalty. Okay. So. The European Union and the European Convention of Human Rights has identified these 16 things as basic human rights. Everyone should has the right to all of these. Okay, so looking at this list, what is, right is being taken away by these people? These are Nazi soldiers taking Jewish um, Germans out of their house and sending them to con concentration camps. What right is being taken away from these people? Well, if you thought the right um, freedom of thought, the right to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion, that is being taken away. They are not allowed to be Jewish. They are not allowed to practice Jew uh, Judaism. The right to protection of property. Well, they're not able to have that anymore. And fairly soon, the, free, uh, the right to freedom from torture and the right to life will be taken away. Okay. We now have people in a uh, German concentration camp. Again, these rights are being taken away from these people. We are now going to look at... Uh, a of a short video we're going to watch it all together and it's going to be about the um the trial of a man called troy davis now i'm not going to tell you anything about the uh this trial you can watch this video i'd like you to watch this video and there will be some questions after okay here we go here's the video
How many Troy Davises do we have in the audience today? Let's see here. So that's about every hand in here. Well, that's a good job. So if I could get as a group, when I say free, you say Troy Davis. Free. Unconditionally. 
We campaign around the world for global abolition of the death penalty. 139 countries around the world have now abolished the death penalty in law or practice. The UK government's policy, like the policy of the European Union, is that the death penalty should be opposed in all cases and should be abolished. That is what I believe as well. The bumper sticker says, why do we kill people who kill people to show that killing is wrong? And I agree with that. I think it's something that when it's finally abolished worldwide, people will think is as archaic as the things you see in the London dungeon. I said this is Troy Anthony Davis. And uh, I want to thank all Amnesty supporters, you know, all the volunteer workers. I want to thank everyone all over the world, you know, who has been praying for me, supporting me, writing letters and signing petitions and things like that. Because this situation could have happened to anyone, but it needs to start with me. It needs to continue to let their voice be heard because if I couldn't get no justice, nobody could get justice. Okay, so we've watched the video. Oh, blimey, sorry, my bad. Uh, we've watched the video. If you need to, you may watch that again. Okay. Um, here are some questions I would like you to answer. Which human rights are involved in this case? And you can go back to the uh, slide with the European Convention of Human Rights um, list, those 16 human rights. And, and decide which ones are involved in this case. I'd like you to write those down, please. Um, I'd like you to think, how do you think Troy's family feel or felt? Question three, in your opinion, what should have happened to Troy? Full sentence and give a reason, please. And number four, does a person's guilt or innocence affect your view of the death penalty? And explain your answer. So I'd like you to pause this video now and go through those four questions, please. Write down your answers to all of them in full sentences now, please. Okay, so we're now going to move on. And finally, Amnesty International. Now, you will have seen in the Troy Davis video Amnesty, a lot of uh, people talking about Amnesty International. Now, Amnesty International is an international global um, organization which campaigns amongst lots of other um, issues and, uh, and campaigns that they have against the death penalty in all of its forms and they don't think about uh, anybody being guilty or innocent they think that all death penalties should be abolished and they say the death penalty is the ultimate denial of human rights it is the premeditated and cold-blooded killing of a human being by the state which means by the government or by the country this cruel, inhuman and degrading punishment is done in the name of justice. That's what Am Amnesty International say about the death penalty. I would like you to just um, have a think about and write down your answer to this question. Do you agree with this statement? And I would like you to write down why or why not. Okay? So... The last thing, uh, sorry, just pause the video while you're answering that question. And now the last thing that we are doing is thinking about why human rights are contentious. Okay, I would like you to just, for the last thing that you do, I would like you to click on the second of the YouTube clips on um, Show My Homework where we have human rights um, being contentious. Watch that video. That is the last thing for this lesson. Thank you very much, Year 9. I will, uh, you will hear from me again on Friday's lesson. Bye-bye.